Well, hello everybody, I am Jay, Leonard Jay, and today I'm gonna teach you how to tell a story with your guitar solos. Well, it is another episode of Play Like Jay. This episode is brought to you by Rufus Guitar Shop. Take some lessons. It's January, you can take lessons there. In fact, I did when I was a kid, and then when I got older, I taught there for a little bit, and actually it was them who told me I should start filming uh, demos, so, oh, Rufus Guitar Shop wins all over the place today. Uh, today, we're gonna work on soloing. Uh, soloing is a, you know, we, we learn our scale. But for some reason, when we do our solo, it doesn't really sound that great when we play. And it's weird. And, and a lot of people say, oh, if I knew more scales, if I knew more licks, if I knew uh, more, I'd be a better guitar player. But to be completely honest with you, I think you know just enough already to be an amazing guitar player. We always shortchange ourselves. And it's not so much scales, knowing more scales and knowing more stuff, you know, like stuff like that. Scales is just numbers and stuff. What we need to worry about is uh, storytelling. We need to actually say something with our solos and explore things. Think of your solos not so much as a collection of licks, but as a narrative that you are creating. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to play some music and we're going to work on expanding on our solos uh, without uh, doing going into crazy scales and stuff. I don't want to teach you crazy scales. Who wants to learn crazy scales? We want to learn how to play music. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is let's start off with a narrative. When you have a story, you need characters, you need a setting, you need conflict, and you need resolution. That's what you need. So let's start off with character. So let's create a character. A character could be just a concept. It could be a idea line. It could be a note, or that's two notes. <laughs> it could be anything. And what you need to do is when you start off your solo, just think about a character establish your character. So like say, I'm gonna do a really uh, uh, let's just do two notes. Two notes solo. This is my own notes. That's my solo, right? Two notes, I'm gonna write a whole solo based on two notes. So let's just do that. I'm gonna turn on this loop. Okay. Two notes. As you can see, just there, I already created a really cool solo and I didn't, I didn't have to use a lot of notes. I didn't have to know a million scales. It sounded really good. I just created, a, I have my two notes, it's my character, created a theme. So now let's go put it in the context of a solo. Let's do two characters. Uh, my first character for my story that I'm gonna make up is, uh, I guess, let's come up with a, a, a style of playing. So my, my first character is gonna be a slide. And my second character is gonna be something choppy. So I'll just play my pentatonics like that. And then I'll have my slide character, which is a slide character. I'm just in the pentatonics and let's go create a story here. So let's start with the slide. Here's my slide. You see how it wasn't much? I wasn't doing too much. I'm just nice, gentle. I have a little idea of the slide, right? So now that we've established that character in our solo, we did like a little bit of a thing. We could introduce our second character. So this is our second character. That 
that's it. I'll do twice. <laughs> See, not too much. Expand on it a little bit. I didn't do it. You know how much repetition there was? I was just repeating stuff because I'm trying to establish the character in the story. It's like when you have a character in a movie, you want to talk about its character traits and, and its motivations. Well, I introduced this staccato idea. I'm introducing it in different contexts and all of a sudden I could develop it. Now let's make these two characters meet. Here's our slide. Double it. As you can see, you actually could be very, very repetitious. You can actually get the similar ideas, but as long as you're uh, doing justice to your character, and as long as you have two separate characters, and you could let them talk to each other. And when you talk to people, you repeat yourself all the time. And when you talk to other people, you, you, have, you find common ground, you find places where you separate, where you don't uh, connect, and there's parts where you connect. Let experiment with it, stack up ideas. Pretty much what you can do is you could pretty much just get two ideas and, and find so many different avenues to explore. And as you get more advanced and you start playing more, well, you could start introducing more characters and more uh, tricky scenarios. Have uh, people get, you know, get into little relationships. You get have one uh, lick compare with another lick and they go off and do their thing and another one and compare and they go off and then they both get in a fight and they can mix and match and create different things. You can bring in different ideas. You could put them in different settings, which is another thing. Like uh, by settings, I think of like uh, ways of playing, your, uh, the amount of distortion you're using, the, the effects you're using. All of those things are creating a narrative. Right? You can bring your, your music into different places. So again, this, this is more of a conceptual kind of video, but what I'm really trying to say is you don't need all the scales. You don't need everything. All you need is just two ideas. Well, that is it. That is the demo. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't. Uh, check out the links in the description below. I want to thank Rufus Guitar Shop for sponsoring this video. Uh, this guitar is for sale at Rufus Guitar Shop. This is a custom shop uh, strat with the uh, Tomatillo uh, pickups on it, which is actually really, really lovely. Uh, check out my Patreon. Uh, I'm going to actually upload this backing track to the Patreon subscribers so that you can do whatever you want. I also do all my reviews on there. Uh, that being said, I guess I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.